Hi, I'm Geraldine. Yesterday I got a whole bunch of records and I wanted to share them with you. So my parents had seen that somebody had posted this whole stack of records for $10 on OfferUp yesterday. We uh, came across this post two hours after they had posted it so we thought they were probably gone by the time we saw them. But luckily they still had them and we were able to buy them so let me show you what I got. So for $10, we ended up getting 24 LP albums and 145, and the 45 was Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. And the first five albums I'm gonna show you are actually ones that I already own. So the first one was Walk About by The Fix. And then we had Queen's Greatest Hits. We had Into the Gap by Thompson Twins. This one kind of had the album kind of split here, so I'm just going to have to glue it together. We have The Age of Consent by Bronxky Beat. This is actually my third copy that I own now. And next we have Heart self-titled album. So the next ones aren't repeats anymore. So the next four albums are by Todd Rundgren. I'm only familiar with a couple of his songs, so I'm excited to listen to these. So the first album is Hermit of Mink Hollow. Next we have Initiation. Healing. And Runt, the Ballad of Todd Rundgren. And this one's a gatefold. Next, we got Jim Croce's album, Life and Times. I'm excited to own this because I had recently picked up one of his greatest hits albums, so I can't wait to listen to this one. Next, we have Killer on the Rampage by Eddie Grant. It has the song Electric Avenue. And here we have a maxi single of Thompson Twins in the name of love, 88. And it has a whole bunch of different mixes of that song. We have Boys and Girls by Brian Ferry. This is my first album that I own by Brian Ferry. I have one of his singles, so this is a great addition. Next we have Erasure's maxi single of the song Sometimes. This one's a promo copy and it's the extended mix of that song and it has two other songs on side two. Next we have Sean Cassidy's self-titled album and Barry Manilow's greatest hits and it's a gatefold. And then, we also have Eddie Rabbit's Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Next, we have Judas Priest's album, Turbo. And this is the third Judas Priest album I have now. We have El Dorado by Electric Light Orchestra. I love the album artwork of this album. Next we have Wheels Are Turning by Ario Speedwagon. It has the song Can't Fight This Feeling. And next we have Savage Amusement by The Scorpions. Then the last three are the ones that I was most excited for and that I think were worth the $10 are Ultravox's L Lament. Ultravox's Rage in Eden and Ultravox's Collection. So these were the albums I was able to score for $10. I can't believe I was able to get them for that price and I think it was very well worth it. So thank you so much for watching!